In this tutorial, we will introduce the integration of Volt MX Iris with Volt MX Foundry. The integration of Volt MX Foundry with Iris allows you to define and integrate your enterprise data directly on Iris. Iris provides a visual mapping editor which allows you to map data from a service response to the widgets on the application forms. Today, we will learn how to configure Foundry on Iris, mapping service data to the widgets, and briefly overview an example of how to integrate a Foundry service. As an example, we will integrate a Foundry service, which will fetch a list of airport codes and cities for a travel application. On Iris, we will use two forms in this application for integration. The first form has a button through which we will trigger the service call to fetch data, and the second form will be used to list data returned from the service. Since we have the forms pre designed, we will begin by configuring Foundry on Iris. To configure Foundry, we will navigate to Volt MX Iris. Preferences in the Preferences window, under Volt MX Iris, we have Foundry. Here the Volt MX Foundry Cloud instance is configured by default, based on the user's login credentials. Users using an on-premise version of Foundry may configure Iris to point to the on-premise instance. You can validate the configuration through the Validate button provided here. Once this is done, click on Done to finish. Now that the Foundry configuration is completed, let us access the Foundry console. We will do this by clicking on the Volt Foundry option in our project. This will launch the Foundry console. You can always switch back to Iris by using the workspace icon provided on the left menu. In Foundry, we have an app named Airport. This contains a few integration services, one of which we will use in our app today. We will use the test service XML2. This is an XML service which fetches data from the endpoints we have already defined. We have defined two operations in the service. The first operation requires two request parameters. The search string is used to define the search criteria and the user key which is used to validate the service call with the service endpoint. Once the response is received, we have configured XPath and the response output to parse the data and assign the values to the response parameters. In this case, we will receive a list of airport codes and cities starting with the alphabet A since we have passed the alphabet A as the search criteria. Let us validate this through the Save and Fetch button provided on the Foundry. As expected, the service fetches the airport codes and cities. The second operation is similarly defined to fetch data with the search criteria as alphabet B. Now that our services are ready, we will switch back to Iris and publish these services to Foundry. Once the services have been successfully published, we will switch back to our application on Iris. Here, we will map the service response from each operation to the segment widgets we have on the airport list form. Now let us integrate the service using the Action Editor. I will go to the form and select the Action Editor on the OnTouch event of the label. Here, we have invoked the service and now we will map the data using the Mapping Editor. Here, I have mapped the response values from the service to the labels in my segment widget. We will perform similar mapping for both the operations. Now that we have completed the integration of Foundry services, let us execute the application on an emulator. Here, I have the booking screen where I invoke my services and fetch data to be displayed on the airport list screen. Please refer to Volt MX documentation for more information.